I'm Dan Langan and I can make anything out of cake. Every week, Food Network challenges me to a brand new cake baking challenge. Oh no. This is Dan Can Bake It. I've got this week's challenge right here. I'm gonna tear into it and see what I'm in store for. What is, oh my God. Oh, it squeaks. This little chef guy. <laughs> Crazy clown wig. Some juggling balls. <laughs> oh, I can't juggle. But uh, let me just get right to this clue. Make a cake with a special talent. I got it. Special talent. Some people can juggle. Some people, I guess, are ventriloquists. I feel like this cake challenge lends itself really nicely to something fun and whimsical. I think I'm gonna try and make a circus themed cake. The circus is fun. I know it's a really classic, timeless thing. I think it's a great inspiration for this cake. So I'm gonna make an epic circus tent cake with red and white circus tent stripes on the outside, this awesome carved in circus tent top, a bunch of detail on the outside, but the best part I think is gonna be when I cut into the cake, it's gonna have these amazing diagonal cake layers. So I'm ready to get these diagonal cake layers going. And what I know I have to do is start with two different cakes, two different colors, plain white vanilla cake, another cake layer, just dyed it with red food color. So I'm just gonna hold my knife at a 45 degree angle. First cut I'll make is on the outside of the cake. Try and keep my knife pretty still. So I have a nine inch board right here. So then down to six inches, 12, nine, six. I'll do the same thing with my other layer. I also think this will be a really cool design with any number of colors. I'm sticking with that classic red and white for the circus feel. It's easy to cut one layer, but I also need the other layer to be cut in the same fashion because the cakes need to fit back together. It's all about making it symmetrical. You take them apart and then you just rearrange them just with the colors alternating. So now I have these awesome alternating rings. Pop these in the fridge, get them really cold, then I can stack them and fill them with buttercream. So these are filled with buttercream. It's nice and chilled, so it's ready for carving. It's gonna be the top part of my circus tent. So what I'm gonna do is actually just trim this down. See how easy the cake cuts when it's nice and chilled? I feel like I spend a lot of time flipping cakes. Oh no. <laughs> It, it works out like that, it's okay. I'll take a bubble tea straw and I'm just looking at the center of the cake and now I know this is exactly the center. So I'll just push this straight down. The thing about carving cakes like this is that you always start with a lot of cake and then you end up carving a lot of it away. That becomes a snack. I'm gonna take a smaller knife and I'm just gonna run it along the edge of the cake board to make sure that none of this extra cake is peeking out. So I know that I can add ganache to this. I'll peek it right up to the tip. I have a nice symmetrical top for my circus tent cake. Once the cake is chilled and ganached, red fondant is rolled out and cut into triangular strips. These strips are placed around the top of the cake and then trimmed to the base. And now we have our finished top to our circus tent cake. So this cake has chilled, the ganache is nice and firmed up, and what I'm gonna do is take off this top board that I used to frost the cakes. So let's see how it looks. When the buttercream comes off like this, I'll just take some extra buttercream just to level the top out so when that top tent piece goes on, it goes on really nicely. And what I like to do is line a few of these up before I cut my strips, is just kind of measure. So I'll just grab my quilting ruler to cut the fondant into these perfectly even strips. A wood shop class I took in high school, they always said, measure twice, cut once. Brush some piping gel onto my cake, and then once I get one on straight, the rest of them should just all kind of match up. I really think it's these little details makes cakes like the cakes I make really over the top. I have like a little gap. You can plan a lot of things when you're designing a cake, but sometimes you just plan on the spot. I could probably just use this spot for the front of my cake where the curtains are gonna be open. Yes. So I have all of my fondant strips on the top part of my tent. I'm gonna lift the whole thing up, kind of center this a little bit take a bunch of these circles and I want to cut these in half. To make them stick, I'm going to use some piping gels and I'll paint it around the top where the top of the tent meets the side. Cover up that seam where everything meets. And I kind of like how they're flaring out. It looks pretty cool. It's adding some dimension. So I'm not going to press them flat. So now I'll just make sure these are all nice and attached. Now what I want to do is take some black fondant and create this arch. So to do that, I'll just give this a little knead, tiniest little bit of cornstarch. I'm going to use this teardrop cutter and I'll just cut straight down. So I need to cut off the bottom inch of this. Take just a little bit of piping gel, just making sure this is actually the front of the cake. Because once it's on there, it's on there. It's really hard to get it off. So I'm gonna roll out some red. Whenever I know that I'm ruffling fondant or I want it to look like it's laying like fabric, I try and roll it pretty thin. I'll get my white. I'm just gonna cut some strips of red. I'll flip these all over. 
Just take some vodka in a spray bottle and that vodka makes them stick in place and it dries really quick. And lay them right across this white. I wanna make some ruffles and I think the easiest thing to do is just gonna be to use my paintbrush just like this. Just paint some piping gel. Maybe cut something like that, just above where this meets, just so it's nice and clean. Crowning jewel of this cake is going to be this flag for the very top, and I'm just gonna push it straight through. So now I have so many bright colors here, and I used a lot of cornstarch, so I'm actually gonna grab my steamer and give this whole thing a steam. The steamer is kind of like an eraser for all the cornstarch, and it makes the sugar in the fondant nice and shiny. Be a nice finish. I love this cake. If I had gotten this cake when I was younger at a circus theme party, I probably would have gone bananas. Food Network challenged me to create a cake with a special talent. I stacked up these cake layers with these diagonal layers to make this epic circus tent. I think I definitely nailed this challenge. So as incredible as this cake looks on the outside, I'm really excited to see the inside. I've never created a cake with these vertical layers before, so it's a first for me. I love the, the brute manpower that he used just to slice in these cakes. Oh yeah, here it goes. That looks so cool. Looked really cool, really bright, fun, and whimsical on the outside. I love this fun little reveal I have in the front with these fondant curtains and this cool flag topping the whole thing off. But my favorite part of this cake is definitely the inside reveal. Special talent. Diagonal layers, check. It gets better every time. <laughs> if you guys liked this cake challenge, make sure to subscribe, and I'm gonna be looking through the comments. So if you have a challenge for me, let me know.